overview of the Grand Hotel, um, it is a refurbishment of an 1870s hotel in the heart of Birmingham. Uh, 185 bedrooms and conferencing facilities, front of house bar, restaurant, etc. I think the vision for the Grand um, was to create a really relaxed, dynamic, beautiful hotel. That vision has to be something where people come in and they really feel relaxed and they have a really nice experience. I think the client's vision was really to, to rejuvenate and restore this, this former icon. It's got a, a lot of past to it, a lot of history, uh, and you see that in some of the artwork and some of the features that have been brought back. So really it was to, to restore that and put it at the forefront of the market in Birmingham. Working with the Graham's team and particular since I joined about a year ago, um, I just have to say they've been a fantastic team to work with. The dedication to get it right was enormously strong and, and that's for me as a operator who strives for perfection, it's the right partnership. Some of the highlights were, it's a, it's a timber frame building, 150 years old, so fire is a, is, a, is a huge risk during construction, so one of the first things that we had to do was go in and put all of the fire compartmentation in place in readiness for us doing the, the construction works to make sure the building was safe. Almost the biggest challenge um, is the fact that there was a new challenge every week. So many different facets, so many different people and organisations involved whether it was technical issues on site, um, logistical challenges of a busy city centre site and lack of space, neighbouring tenants and, and, and working around them. Um, so it was that just different thing every week which kept it interesting and rewarding as well. Logistics were, were, were very, very difficult. It's a city centre uh, building with, with really very little space around it, so getting materials in and out of the building was a key challenge worked with Graham around about three years on this project now um, through the pre-construction and then delivering the works and our relationship has grown over that time into a really strong team ethos I think. It's been a real challenge but really rewarding and I think I've learnt the most from doing this out of any job uh, in my career so far. we've designed it in a way um, was again to, to use that renaissance style um, in a modern day setting and really play as a juxtaposition the detailing and the way that we work so I think that really worked and resonated through the design. The other thing that's unique about this particular building is that our inspiration for the artwork is every piece of artwork in this hotel is based on a person or an invention that happened in Birmingham. And Birmingham was at the forefront of a lot of inventions in the Industrial Revolution that we, that we use today. And so, you know, that inspiration through the art and when you walk through the hotel, it's something that, that brings that uniqueness um, quality to it. One of my favourite parts of the Grand is, is the Grand Staircase itself. I think when you, when you stand at the top and look down and you see the, the, the columns within the main reception, it looks absolutely fantastic. Another part of the Grand that I really like is, is how the main bar has turned out, Madeline's Bar. The restoration work there from what it was to what it is now is absolutely phenomenal. My favourite part of the Grand is the sense of arrival. As you walk into the building, you know, you're struck in this awe of this grand space and this captivating you know, relationship between you and the building. And I just think, you know, that kind of anticipation, that excitement when you walk in, you know, you, you know you've arrived somewhere that's really special, really beautiful and, and really different to what Wales is on offer in Birmingham, yeah. The personal favourite part of a hotel, I don't know, there's, it, it has so many corners and niches which make it lovable. I, in a way, always like the entrance. It just uh, sets the scene for an experience when, when walking into a hotel and it's about warmth and genuine hospitality, that's what we strive for and that is so perfectly reflected in its design, in its, in its finish, in its architecture, that's just why I love it. 
favourite part for me of the Grand is probably the Grosner room, now the Horton room. Um, the incredible ornate ceiling in there for anyone who's seen it is, is one of a kind. Certainly nothing like that in Birmingham that I'm aware of. My favourite part of being involved in the Grand is, is, is really just the legacy that it leaves behind. It's a you know, 150 year old building and we, we were involved with about three years of that so a, sh a very short space of time in, in the building's life but a very important time and one that pe people in the city now get to see the results of. The thing I really enjoyed most about working on the ground was the, the whole team effort. I think it was really fun uh, and exciting proposition that we had and a, and a journey that we all took to work on an amazing building and to create an amazing hotel. And you know, that's what makes it really fun and really exciting, I think. I think I enjoy most um, the, the very nature of it, um, the different challenges it would bring, and uh, the fact that we really had to call on everybody's collective experience and different angles um, to overcome those and, and get it to work and get it to what it is now, which is a, a fantastic end result, I think. Without a doubt, the, the biggest success of the Grand was the people. You know, everyone was, was excited about it and the, the, yeah, the dedication of the people to deliver what has turned out to be an absolutely stunning refurbishment. Working together with Rayans on it and actually getting it to the point of perfection, I think that is, is, is the biggest part of the success. I think the key reasons it, it, we, we succeeded with this was um, having a clear common goal of what we were trying to achieve, but also ultimately the people and the team involved the buildings are the end result in, in the construction industry, but it's the people that make it all happen. And from the client team, the contractor team, the design team, all of the people around it, having the right attitude, can-do approach, working collaboratively, that's how you get this sort of end result, and I think this was a perfect example of that. Seeing the Grand Open as a working hotel is, is fantastic actually. It's overdue because of Covid had uh, had two false starts, so the operator team have been waiting in the wings all this time and it's really brilliant to see the public in here enjoying it, hearing positive reviews and uh, for the likes of us who have been involved all this time and walking around in a, an empty uh, ghost-like brick building three years ago to seeing what this is now is quite an incredible difference. So. Um, yeah, really exciting and uh, I really uh, hope they make a big success of it, which I'm sure they will.